The next document we will do in Lesson 90 is the Table of Contents. This is Report 9065. You will turn to page 366 in your textbook. This is the document and the instructions for what will be typed. There is a notice here in GDP. To ensure accurate scoring of keystroking, you must set all tabs at the start of this job. We will pull up our checklist that's going to explain or summarize what was in your textbook about those and also give you some references that might help you out with a refresher on how to do dot leaders. When you're ready, click Start Work. Now, as you'll notice, if you look in the Reference Manual, page R7D, for a table of contents, you should set a left tab at a half inch and a right dot leader tab at six and a half inch. This is where you can check page 102 in your Word manual for a refresher on dot leaders. We go to the paragraph group on the home ribbon and with the dialog box launcher we click tabs in the lower left corner. First click clear all then type point five and set. Next type 6.5, click right, and number 2 for dot leaders, click set. Now you see these two tabs are in this box showing you that they have been set and you can click OK. Be sure that your ruler is on and you will see your left tab at a half inch and the right tab at six and a half inches, which is right at the margin. And now you're ready to begin. First, press enter five times because we're going to type the word contents as the title two inches from the top of the page. One, two, three, four, five, center, turn on caps lock and type contents. You're going to apply a style later so you don't need to make this bold at this point or even change the font size. Press enter twice. The table of contents that is shown on page 366 is not complete. It's a partial table of contents. You must refer to the report you typed to determine which entries must be included and on which pages in the report these headings occur. All cap headings in the contents come from the side headings in the report and the initial cap headings come from the paragraph headings in the report. Go back to left alignment and you can begin with problem. After you type it, you do not space or do anything except press tab. Type the number one and press enter two times. So at this point I'm going to type intercultural seminars. Press tab once and type number one. Press enter two times. Tab once, type the number two. Press enter two times. Now we're ready for a series of paragraph headings. Turn off caps lock. Press tab once. This takes us to the half inch tab that we set. This part is single spaced. Then we're ready for the last two side headings.
and, as the book suggests, say that the bibliography is going to be on page 9. After you type the number 9, do not press Enter again. That is the end of the table of contents. Now let's go back to be sure that we are getting everything that the instructions mention. We are to select the word Contents and apply the title style. There we go. Now it is bold and 16 point font size. The style that was indicated has been applied. Save your document, then close. I'm showing one error, so I'll go back and fix. A green error means I left something out. I left something out of this side heading, so I click Edit Work. This time when I save it has a hyphen 1 after it so that I know I'm going to submit the edited file in GDP. This time we choose that dash 1 and we have zero errors. So our table of contents is finished and we have established that we know now how to use dot leaders and set tabs. <laughs> Thank you.